Hey guys. <laughs> you remember this? Hey! Remember it? I want to be back there again. Look at it. See? Water crossing. When's the last time you, when's the last time you got a wet boot? Oh, I had a shower last night. <laughs> <laughs> I could have gone, gone a different way there. So, so that's when you dragged Muddy's car through. Is that Nolan's? That is Nolan's, eh? But it actually wasn't that deep that we went through there. I don't know, I didn't slow down enough when we went through. I've seen a fair few videos recently of, of, of sinking under bonnet kind of levels. Yeah. But, I mean, seriously, when when you talk about water crossings, I mean, they're like we're not even up to the tyres, right? Yeah, no. Right? No, they're, they're, that's not up to the tyres, but that's pretty um close. That's a pretty good looking undercarriage. That's a shitty eight but, that's a good job. That's good. Now was this was this about the deepest water that you but, guys got into? No, we went over the bottom a few times actually. Where so was that like, at though? That was at Nolan's. So in the movie itself, I'm not too sure I what got Brock going through. And he had a pilot lifted lifted um, sixty there. I think he just dumps in just over the bottom. No. He took the chicken crap. See it was pretty we shallow through, when we went through. I reckon, I don't think, was, I can't remember filming this thinking, you know, you know, that's really deep. No, it wasn't that deep when we went through. I mean, you look at that recent one that um, one of our mates put up on, up there, and it was over his bottom, yeah. quite considerably. When we went through, we come, like, me and Rhea, and that we come floating through, heading through the That's right, you went through. So do you, I mean, I mean, that was a pretty awesome trip, right? Yeah, it was a and, good trip. An awesome trip that should be done every Should be year, done. Every year. But... In terms of water crossings, they weren't really that intense, were no, they? No, of course not. Nah. We, we, <laughs> we went up in our... Well, it depends. Like I was saying, you see, this year, you've um, you, you got 200 series and they're, they're up, to the, up to the windscreen, you know? Yeah. But that's, that's from, you know, driver error and sinking it deeper in the sand. Yeah. So give or take. So, George, where are anyway, we? Where are we? Welcome to Grunt's Ruts Garage. Yeah. Gee, you actually a, said it right this time. It rolled off the tongue a bit better that time. <laughs> no, so... Um, what we're pretty much doing here with our little guitar shaped bench. It's is, not bad, eh? Well, if it had a gooseneck in here, right? We're, um, we're chatting about everything. Anything we can think of four wheel drive. We want to be talking about mods, testing things. Uh, what else? New stuff? Just yeah, new, new products. Uh, um, Interviews. Just, just yeah. a, a general good chat about Forbies, and we're really keen to do call ins and have a, have a yarn to people who have. Um, for example, what we're going to talk about today have had a similar situation or have been stuck with a vehicle somewhere that's... that's um... Are you referring to having a drink? Yeah, yeah, I yeah, am, yeah. actually. You could Fair get in a bit of strife having that, actually. So yeah. that's, our, that's our main topic today, right? Yeah. yeah. Getting in the drink. That's yeah. what our topic today is. Yeah, and look, we were looking at that footage and as I said to you earlier, on that trip that we did, the water wasn't that deep, right? No, no, I mean, it's about as deep as that bathtub over there. Well, we're going to get to that, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to what that's all about. That's so George can have a bath. Yeah. So, we've actually got... Well, a... we've got a few things. Yeah. We've, we've got... Boo's brought something in, in relation to our um, In The Drink this afternoon. And, and do we and, have to guess what that is, right? And that's a bit of a guessing game. I've got, yeah. I've got one that's a bit bigger than his. I'll show you Small later. man syndrome is always going to have bigger. <laughs> Typical. Haven't you seen the lift forgotten year? I had to compensate with something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But uh, and we've also got a particular vehicle that's had a bit of a um, a bit of a, a drinking issue. <laughs> so. Guys, um, and I know people say, who's that idiot that keeps interrupting? Well, that idiot's me. Because yeah. we've got people who the, the, give a shout-out. <laughs> you know, like Sharon's uh, well, just no, called this, in. We've changed, we've changed the, we're going to do a bit of a thing about the call-outs. Are we? Where instead of calling out, because we want to have a bit of a chat and get, get through what we're looking at, yeah. um, we're going to do call-ins. Call-ins. So, well, why don't I get the number on screen? Let's do that. Yeah, get if us I the can, number, Rob. If I can, can I have my paper back? Let's have a look here. Let me just escape this oh, and get come this. On, I wouldn't have thought you had this better. Escape this. Wrong? Well, you know, when we get bigger, we will. Hey, there's Loopy. Let me just try and lose this for a sec. Come on, mate. You're oh, I'm trying. Money. I'm trying. All come right. On. These poor people won't know what's going on. Wait, Here we go. Here we go. He, he got deeper than he, than he wanted to. 
So George, here's the number. Here's the number here. So guys, that's the number we're going to be using as a um, as a call in instead of the shout out. So when we get to a certain party, we're going to do a call in because we do want, we want to hear from someone who's had an experience, hence a similar experience, and may have come out of it better or worse. So Can we just turn that fan off too? It's going to affect our oh, sound. So just just pull the plug hot. on it. I know it's hot, but this is up here Actually, in this Kansas, is it's good weather at the moment. Thirty-five this is degrees. So George, we actually show. want people to call in if they've been in the drink and they've had issues. Yeah, been right. in the drink or any anything related to four drives, really. Yeah. Mainly, um, mainly the drink, but anyway, anything. We'll get along with it. All right. Um, so, so let's let's actually have a look at. Um, who our sponsors are, George, while we're here. Give us so these are, these are people who are getting behind us for this show. So there's our call-in number. Our supporters are obviously George. Do you want to talk about this for a sec, George? No. Do you want to talk about this for a sec? Can um, Service Centre. We're, we're doing this show from um, Can Service Centre where me and um, my mum's partner sort of got a bit of a running workshop here. Do you want to come up here um, closer to us so I we can get, hear you? I'm getting old, mate. I know you're getting old, but you'll be all right. But no, it's, so it's, as you can see, it's a, um, it's a workshop. Yep. And it's the perfect space for us to do what I wanted to do for a while and test a bit of four-wheel drive gear. Yep. Um, talk about different things and have enough room to have displays like that where we can show you what we're talking about. Yeah. So, Can Service Centre, if you're in town, George, you're actually offering a free... Well, just if, if you're driving past heading to the Cape and you want yep. us to have a quick look over it, yep. um, or at least put it up on the hoist and check your wheel bearings, for example, yep. Um, yeah, come on in and we'll sort you out. Okay, cool. And, of course, Inspired Signs, who help us always with bits and pieces, which is great. And we've got Mean Mother getting behind us for this show. And George, maybe you want to tell us about this. Well, we've actually got a giveaway. Um, so if you are watching, the giveaway relies on you liking and giving, giving the uh, video a bit of a share. Yep. We're going to pick a random person that's liked the video um, that's going to get this out um, distribution board. Um, Boo, you actually looked it up before. It seems like a pretty impressive bit of gear. Yeah. So, so just before we get onto the gear itself, that's right, start hitting that like button. We're going to go through, randomly choose someone, and this, this prize is worth around about 200 bucks, close to 200. So, Boo, what can you tell us about this? It's got lots of plugs. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty good product. It's got, yeah, on your Anderson plugs, they're both 50 amp Anderson plugs. There's two of them. Um, it's more than well for what you need. So where do we use this and how do we use it? I don't know. So most of, most of the times you'd have it, like if you've got a canopy or something like that, you'd have it mounted inside of your canopy um, to run fridges, chargers, stuff like that. His battery's a bit flat, this fella. Right, okay. So it's generally, so you can take, like it's got USB ports, it's, it's got 12 out, yeah, basically. So where would you mount this normally? Um, I, I wouldn't mount it. You just have it. I wouldn't mount it because I've got nowhere to mount it. <laughs> It'd be a carry around piece when you need it, you can whack it out or whip right. it out. Yeah. So it's a, it's a pretty good unit, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. And uh, of course, the movie, if you haven't seen the movie, I'll put links up to that as well. But as uh, George just said, if you want to win this, all you have to do is like, and we'll choose a random person, thanks to me and Mother, and we'll get this out to you great little unit to have on board so george what are we up to now well i think we're going to check in with the four drive show down in sydney really um, yeah. well maybe we should go to the what's on before we get into talking about drowning yeah. or yeah. we could do that because because they're in that batch right yeah, right. so why don't you give us a background on this vehicle while i get this set up this particular vehicle if <laughs> it, it just came in um he'd sucked a gut full of water in and being a, a newer model cruiser, was still an older one, but all the electronics in it yep. didn't like it, so ECU and all the rest of the shit. Right. Um, now, it had water inside the engine, and unfortunately it sat for a while, so it was a bit of a yes and no on whether it was going to work or not. Yep. And couldn't do a compression test either, because the starter motor had shit itself. Yep. Now, if you've anyone who's owned a V8 has had to pay to get someone to replace the starter motor, it's pretty exy because it's a pain in the ass job. Yep. Um, so that was the first thing. So that's, there's an expense straight away on top. And yep. then um, once we got that water out, all the injectors out, um, and then sort of a reassemble after that compression test came back clean. Yep. So luckily uh, it didn't seem like there was a bent rod or anything. Right. Quote in there. So it's now just electronics. It's doing me head in. All right. <laughs> so we'll, we'll, we'll have a quick 
more detailed look at that in a sec. Yeah, of course. So let's see what's on around town. So um, basically we have the Australian Sydney show, four-wheel drive and adventure show. Well, we just and that's... wanted to talk about it because um, Burnley myself have actually been, been looking into this a fair bit. It's hard for us to get down there, yeah. but from what it, what, what it looks like, it looks pretty, pretty awesome, eh? Yeah. yeah. Um, It'd be good to get down there. It's uh, they they got. Oh, and, and, and what four wheel driver doesn't like a good four wheel drive, drive, drive show? Yeah. yeah. So what we're going to do is get Pete on the line, who's the show director, and we're going to have a quick chat with him about that. While we're waiting to get Pete on the line, we've also got this show coming up, the Show and Shine, right? So um, this is down in Grafton on the fifth of October. Uh, from 1pm at the showgrounds. Pete's on, let's put him on speaker. Alright, well, pass George over. G'day Pete, how are you mate? I'm good, thanks, how are you? Oh, wonderful, I'm, I'm a bit spewing actually, I kind of wish I was down there with you. Oh no, no, it's been a big day today. <laughs> yeah, right, it's, um, fill us in mate, I'm, I'm keen to know what's been going on. Okay, so, um, uh, Eastern Creek, uh, Ford Run Venture Show, uh, it's more than just a show because we've got um, everything from caravans to well, more adventure caravans, camper trailers, um, and then we've also got all the four drive accessories and everything like chock a block four, like so much new product around, it's amazing. Um, but the other thing too is we've got like recovery demo tracks, we've got a, a rock crawling competition happening for the rock crawling guys, we've got a full test track so they can go and try out four wheel driving in real time. Yeah, um, right. Sorry, um, Pete, this is Rob, this is Rob, the producer. Can you tell us what sort of people you're aiming at? Is it sort of hardcore 4x4 people or is it basically everyone? Well, he's got uh, tracks set up there and rock crawling tracks, right. so pretty much it's anyone an overall, and everyone. anyone and everyone. Everyone and everyone. Yeah, yeah, no, so um, we're trying to appeal to all the markets, so the uh, hardcore guys like, obviously, all the four wheel drive gear, and we've got all the main uh, four wheel drive companies here, but that's why the rock crawling, but that's a bit of light entertainment uh, and for everybody. But we, we made families, really, because um, that's why we've got a lot of caravans here, camp trailers. You've uh, also got a content creator stage down there too, don't you? Yeah, yeah it's brand new this year. So we've, we've contacted all the major content creators around uh, Sydney and also nationally. Yep. And they've all thought, what a great idea just to see these guys that you follow uh, digitally um, and to see them in real time. And they're talking on the stage. We have huge crowds around them today as people... So, so these are people that are on like Facebook and Instagram and all that sort of stuff, eh? Yeah, they are, yeah. yeah. You know, YouTube mainly from most lot of the content creators. Yeah, right, that's, that's pretty wicked. Right? That's, mate, it sounds like you've got a pretty good setup down there. Uh, It'd be something to go down there. Everything, really, yeah. We've got camp up and cooking to do tomorrow. Oh. Um, but yes, the fact that you can wander around the show and be entertained. But also, we've got um, uh, a lot of the four wheel drive uh, personalities like Jace Andrews and and uh, Graham Cahill and Sean Whale from Four Drive Action, so that's all good. And then, but there's also lots of advice as well, like ARB are doing uh, Red Art electronic talks and human map navigation talks, yeah, uh, yeah. recovery demos. Um, so quite a lot of human education as well, so you can learn stuff. And I think that's pretty cool. We've even got backing demonstrations, actually, if anybody's not good at backing, so yeah, yeah. that's pretty cool. All right. Hi. So, Pete, where are you going next with the show, or is it just in Sydney? Uh, no, we, we, um, we're Perth-based, actually, and, and uh, we do it in Adelaide as well. Right, so uh, when's that on? Uh, third week of October. Right. Um, it's coming up, and then um, the Perth show, which is the longest-running four-drive show and the biggest in Australia, is uh, the weekend after the Melbourne Cup. So mm -hmm. it's the, that first weekend of November. Well, so we might we try and... Three shows and a similar flavour, obviously. Uh, the content creators will be going to all the shows this year. It's a brand new thing. Um, and each show, the Adelaide show has got a strong boating flavour. We run a in conjunction with the boat show yeah. as well. That, that's, that, that's pretty awesome, eh? So, yeah. yeah so might, have, might have to make an effort. Yeah. All right, Pete. Well, look, thanks for... Um, thank, thanks heaps for taking our call. And we're going to try and get down there one year. It'd be good. Yeah, cool. No, it's good fun. Yeah, all right. Okay. Thanks uh, mate, a lot. Much appreciated, mate. Cheers, eh? Thanks. Have fun. So that was Peter Woods, the show director from the Sydney Four Wheel Drive and Adventure Show. That's a bit, we'll um, and... that's a bit shit that we're not doing that. That's pretty wicked. Yeah. They had some track, rock ball and tracks and the mud tracks. And, It'd um, be good if they had something like that up this way. You don't get anything like that up here. Well, we it's, used to well, have used it at the showgrounds, but then they, yeah, they turned into sook, sook about it. So. Yeah. But, oh well. 
All right, now, George, um, can we just remind people that we've got a giveaway? If they want to be in the running for well, the giveaway, giveaway... We've still got to bloody guess what this is. Yeah, but before we do and, that, they've got to like before well, they can... Obviously, because how yeah. else are we going to pick them? So if you're just <laughs> watching the show now and you haven't liked, give us so a few get likes. On, get on the... Get on, like this yep. video. We've got a pretty cool power accessory unit to give away that's from me and mother. Yep. Um, once me or George will pick it out and uh, no, that I'll person... Pick, I'll pick it out for me. Yeah, you'll pick it out for you. Yeah. At least I'll give it away. <laughs> all right, cool. All right, so what do you want to do now? You want to have a look at this well, piece? Well, I'll explain a bit more to what we did to this yep. in regards to that. So this is just got a factory, factory airbox unit. Um, now, it sucked in water. Not too sure how deep it was in, but it was obviously deep enough to get water somehow through the airbox. Now, it's obviously not sealed. There was water in the engine. When I started up, the turbo probably pushed out about a litre and a half um, from the piping itself. Intercooler was full of water. Um, it was basically just a strip down. Don't turn it over, obviously, because if water's in there, we're gonna we're gonna do some damage to the inside. Pretty high because uh, it stinks in there. It is a bit mouldy, but um, yeah. So it's basically get all the water out of the cylinders, and then reassemble the starter motor, do a compression test to see if it's bent first. If we've got a decent bent rod or two, you got to strip the motor down. You might as well do a rebuild. It's expensive on something like this. Luckily, this fella um, he got away with it. It just had water in the bloody fuel rails, the injectors, everything was just soaked in water so so boo tell us about tell us about filter boxes when we buy a vehicle are they designed to go in water no so give us give us a rundown what are they designed for well originally they were designed as a overland high air intake yep. um and that was to uh, obviously up here you're getting better airflow yep um a lot of you know, cruisers they have this style two-piece snorkel in here, the only thing that seals that in there is a bit of like a rubberized foam. Yep. It doesn't hold very well at all. Um, and a lot of these air boxes, they are just joined together, pushed together um, setups, and they leak. If you want something to go in water, get a stainless snorkel. No, you just get it upgraded. There's upgrades yeah. everywhere. A lot of people are doing upgrades for every kind of vehicle. But then again, you can get one of these to seal properly. I, um, I've got a demo I'll show you after that I've, I've whacked together quickly and right. it's a simple way to say okay you can physically see where it's going to leak from. Alright now guys um, um, let us know just, where you're just, watching from. Um, as I said give us a few likes if you want to be in that drawer for that power box, power unit. What do you call it Boo? It's a, it's a, a distributor, a distribution sensor. box. But um, yeah in regards to when you do sync your vehicle I would definitely recommend do not try and start it. If it stalls out in the water, obviously it's it's compression locked and, and hopefully you haven't bent a rod, perhaps you have, but don't don't try and start it because um, you will do some damage. I'm not too sure whether this one did try and start, but I've seen it come in before. Um, a fella come in exactly that, tried to start it, it did fire and, and bent the rod, so it cost him a fair bit. So Boo, I've seen you out in the sticks and you've been in water a few times and you, have I ever seen you stall out there and just start it, or stall and get towed? No, I've not had that. No, it's usually gives me a call. I've says, not, hey, I've not, I've not had that issue. Um, I've done. yeah, 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 <laughs> touch wood. Um, I haven't had that issue. Uh, pretty much, I just try and keep the revs up when I'm going through stuff. Uh, but if, so again, you, like, so when you suck the water, and you definitely yeah, get it wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but like George said, if you come into a creek crossing and the key to it is don't go too fast in the crossing because an issue that you end, could end up with is a lot of cars have got plastic radiator uh, fans um, and you'll snap a blade, put it through the radiator, cook your motor. Actually, I do know, I remember someone recently did that up in Cairns. Yeah, yeah out at Ross and Hawk. Yeah. Mm. Oh, well. So what's your experience with water, George? I mean, you don't exactly oh, have a... You know, your old, your old four-wheel drives, your Hunkle Junker GQs and stuff, I had them, they're all good fun. Mm. And um, oh, we'd have them up to here in water, you know. But yeah. Sealed snorkel, and it's just good fun. So in a, in a in a car that's not too electronic, and an old diesel motor, yeah, not too way. In something like this, you know, most of the time you can be up to sort of here in water. Yeah. But your engine bay water level is quite low because you've got a bow wave in front of you pushing out. Yeah. yeah. It's where this kind of situation where it stalled out and sunk, so everything can get flooded and pretty much soaks in, seeps in. Water's something you don't want inside your engine. Mm. 
So if you, if you had a vehicle like this, in terms of getting it deep water prepped, you wouldn't drive it in deep water or you do? No, you could. You, like I said, you just got to make sure your intake's sealed because you'll drive through that water and like I just explained, the water mm. level in the engine bay is a lot lower than the outside but level. But the first thing you would do is take so this out and seal it properly. Or get an upgrade and snorkel, which a lot of people are doing now anyway. Right. But just, just, for, just for the sake of um, a few vehicles that I've seen come in recently, mm. have had factory airboxes. No, not the seal. Actually, Bo, before you left for the Cape, we did a quick test on his. Mm. Basically putting your hand over the top there while it's idling and see how much like how much it, it, uh, vacuum you get yeah Do, obviously not completely because these plastic pipes they'll just start crushing and you'll crack them mm. but you can sort of feel a lot of resistance there and you'll start hearing where all the leaks are um, shout out to scott in innisfail thanks for the uh, heads up yeah we're trying our best with this new show if you like the show give us a few likes let us know where you're from and remember we've got a giveaway today and also we haven't had a call in yet have we well we're about to i want to hear pretty much if you've got the number there if anyone has had a decent water crossing or been sunk under water and stuffed your engine or got a good bent rod to talk about, um, give us a call on this call in number. Just to have a chat, something different. It may not even be that you've bent a rod going through water. Water causes, you'll, you'll screw your diffs going through water and not maintain them. Yeah, so that's our call in number. We're waiting for a call. If you had an interesting experience in water, let us know. Chat to the guys about it. And George, you've got a little demo over here. Should we talk about that now? Oh yeah, demo, yeah. Oh, okay, so hopefully what... Hopefully someone calls in because so we can have a chat. Yeah. We're still getting used to this whole thing and we'll, we'll want to try... Oh, it's day one. Yeah, we, don't, we need to keep it exciting. Though. Yeah. All right. So you're getting in? Oh. <laughs> oh no, what demo. have we got? That's right, demo. Demo. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, come on, mate. Oh, you can't walk or something. No, well, this is just a, 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 a GU sort of... Um, snorkel that I whacked up today. I've covered the end with some decent tape, I hope it seals. Just out of curiosity, I want to see how much water in the in the air box we get from letting it soak in there for a bit. It's assembled how it usually would be. So this car. is factory, right? This is just factory with obviously the rubber seals in there. There was what looked like a little slit there, so I put some good old Sikaflex on it. Obviously it's not gonna be perfect, but. So where'd you steal this from? Who's missing, what poor bloke's missing his snorkel, don't, mate? Don't tell Curtis. <laughs> don't tell Curtis? Oh, shit, boy. See, this one might actually hold some... No, nah, I can hear it. It's leaking. Yeah, I can hear it. You can hear it. So we're getting water into that, and that's that's sitting in water, so that's where you don't want to be. But with So, the... looking at this, well, this George, just, just... George, I'll just interrupt you for a sec. So, looking at this, okay. the water would be uh, over the bonnet at this stage, is that right? Yes, yeah, so, so yeah. This, you're sitting underwater. You're sitting underwater. Or oh, for yeah. those people that want to stop in the middle of a creek and take a photo. Right. Oh. It's making funny sounds. I think we're filling up pretty intensely there, eh? Well, I might... can leave it for a couple of seconds and see what it does. Oh, mate. <laughs> Alright, just pick it up, pull it out, let's have a look. Hey? Pick well, it up, pull it out. I can't, it's too heavy, it's full of water. <laughs> Alright, so that's been sitting in there for a bit. Shit, it's actually full of water and, it, and it's not. Here, grab that, oh, you can't because you've got an obvious measure. Alright, let's see where it's leaking from. Well, right there to start with. So those two joins are where it mainly leaking from. And they're the ones that are just pressed together and this pressed together. A few holes on the outside from the sticker. That's full, man. That's a pretty quick fill up. Yeah. Um, did and you, did that's... you see that the little and drain that's... bung there's obviously falling out? That, that happens no, that's, a lot. No, they're, they're like that. Yeah, there's meant to be a little no, rubber thing. No, in... there's not. They're like that. Trust well, me. that's a pretty shit setup. It's a shit setup. That's that's why. And what 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 car is this out of? GU Patrol. So it's a patrol thing. Uh, no, it's not a cruiser no, thing. No, no, no. It's not a cruiser no, thing. No, it's a patrol no, thing. No, no. It's stitched up here. That's a patrol. Thing. So will that little test just for a bit? Yes, it's not legit because it's not in a car and there's probably a few little extra holes in it. That was only in there for what? Ten seconds. So, mm, maybe more. so what we're learning here is, okay, so you've got a vehicle. All your joins, you've got to pull all your joins apart. Most people do anyway. Either that or get a custom uh, job. Custom or just make sure this join here, these ones, you can just goop it up with sickle flex and whack it back together. Yeah. It, it's a lot better than what it would be. That's the that shit. But I'm still trying to work out. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking thing. Don't fall over, mate. Yeah, I know. Well, it's let me see. Let me see what's in your box. Without sand. In my box. Without sand and dirt. No. Yeah. No. I want to see what's in. Oh, your right. box. well, look, give us some clues. Well, give us a give us a clue then. So then, why did you bring it in? Because uh, this is out of something that's 
not a really heard of sort of vehicle um, but if this is what's in here is a result of going into the water coming out the other side and then they've gone on to hold it flat and just free rev it and isn't that how you get the water out? Boot it off. <laughs> hey, what's it meant to get the water out? No. Well I bet ya you got the water out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What with, else? A, with a few What else did it get out? Interesting well, yeah. issues. Yeah, what else did it get out? But anyhow, if you think you can figure out what's in here. Yeah, like um, you got two seconds. <laughs> send no. us a send us a message if you think what's in this box that Boo has just described about the result of going into the water and ruining something, right? Yeah. Any if other water, clues? If water, no. come on, give me a If water give touches it, you're screwed. Give me a look. I want to see what Give it me is. a look. Yeah. No, not of your box, inside oh. the box. Oh. Oh, yeah, nice. That's impressive. I've got a bigger one than that. I told you I had a bigger one. It's not Small as, man syndrome. Not as impressive as yours. You've always got to have bigger. All right. So, George, yeah. you reckon we should just do a review? Yeah, give us, give us a look at this. Oh yeah, that's that's all right. Up. Now, what are we looking at? A so, a, a, not, a not so straight conrod. Yeah, this is a not so straight conrod. It's um. So that's actually been bent and twisted somehow, and then when they've revved the engine, obviously it's um it's let go and, yeah. and destroyed the engine. So you can see it was bent there, and that's when they've gone into the water. It's so that's obviously bent it. So they've that, come out a, the other side. That's a, quite a small conrod. I can assume that's out of a little, maybe even a. Bloody petrol, petrol motor or something. Yeah, it is. It's but water damage. Either way, so that's that's your worst case scenario. But George, how, how can you tell in. it's water damaged? Well, that's because he he told me. Right. I'll so. show you. I'll show you another. That's worst case scenario. Yep. This is one we pulled out the other day. Most of them, if you, uh, it's pretty easy to see. It's a bit bent. Mm. That was out of a Ford Ranger that sucked in water. This is out of a Ford too. Yeah, yeah. Shit. Anyway, lost compression. Ran like shit. Chugged. Um, now the, and then the motor had to be stripped down and repaired, you might as well do bearings and all that. So, worst case, the engine stuffed. Best case, you can get a con on replacement. Did that push it to the side of the block? That did, that by, did. by the looks of it. This didn't, so, mm. anyway. Well, do you, want to, um, do you want to bring your truck in as a final segment and show us what you, you've been doing? We've been following that, obviously, for a long time. Well, in regards to that, I'm keen to see if anyone's got a few designs. Because um, we've been is... looking at a bit of a... With our head-to-head -head thing, we've yep. seen a fair few nice patrols and all that coming through. Yep. And um, I'm really keen to see if anyone has done what I did to my um, my airbox system. Yeah. Now we did actually feature that a while ago, right? It was featured a while ago, but I still haven't seen anyone do it yet. I know Bo was keen. George, does yours leak? No. Have you taken it for a run? Have you taken no. it that deep? Because you know how long it's you know hey, how it's long that, it's been off the road if for. It's that deep, mate. I'm stuck. But anyway, we'll go out and have a quick. Why squeeze. don't we go out and have a quick squeeze? Hey guys. <laughs> uh, so effectively, what I did is isolate the leaking issue inside the engine bay by building an airbox on the uh, an airbox on the roof. Right. So it's a. Um, hey mate, you you're right now or what? Hey, that was just a, an out of the blue random design that I come up with. People wanted to try it. I tried it. It looks a bit funny, yes, to some people. I don't mind it. So we actually. It makes did. a real loud whistly sound, but um, hey, it's How's there it and it works. Like pissing down rain. Yeah. No, I made a plate that sits over the top of the filter. So as the air comes in first, hits the plate, and the air rolls around the filter. Then, so any water hits the plate and just drains off down the bottom. T design, nice design. theory. So why don't you pop the bonnet and we'll do a like from well, there. Just to... a brief one. We don't want to go. All right. It's just isolating your whole air box inside the engine, but it's just a straight through. That's all. Four inch stainless yep. clamped silicon hose. Yep. Same four inch stainless up and straight up into the. Straight um, up into so this. So essentially, you've gone with a pre filter style of filter. But I used a big industrial yes. one. So that system works for me. Systems work for every different vehicle. I mean, look at it. It's not exactly the most attractive thing. It's not in that pretty. No. Hey, it's pretty on. bloody ugly. But it was a design. It was something I wanted to try. So leave it alone. So you're happy with it. Yeah, I'm happy with it. He's happy with yeah, it. Stop picking me, buddy. Stop <laughs> me. All right, let's head back in. We'll wrap this up. Yeah. And, um, yeah, send everyone off on the weekend. Well, we didn't get any call in, so no one likes us enough yet. No but one likes... Oh, there's oh, one. Hold up. Is that for us? I don't know who it is. Oh, no, no.
Hello? Uh, no. G'day mate, what's going on? Not much mate, just wanted to see if you guys are still talking about water crossings. We are still talking about water crossings. Oh cool. Who's this? I don't know. Oh, uh, I'm <laughs> just a random fellow from uh, Victoria, my name is Jack. Yeah Jack, g'day mate. G'day. Yeah. Well, so, uh, oh, a few years ago I had a Hilux. Yep. Uh, So I was living in Sydney at the time, we had some real bad floods and all, and um, so I attempted to uh, cross a, a uh, flooded road in the Hilux, and um, as I went through, um, <clears throat> the water started obviously getting high past the vulva, on top of the bonnet, hitting the windscreen, yeah, and um, yeah, the water, water was coming in. To, in the car in the cabin or and the rear end of the ute started lifting up and I, <laughs> I thought I was going to go in into the creek but now nah, um, I've, I've tried to pick my revs up and I, I planned my foot and um, I just made it out probably about uh, people were watching me on the other side of the creek and they said I probably had a few inches until I would have fallen all through the creek but I'll have my car stank for the last Next two weeks to a month because it was just moldy. Even after I ripped the carpet out, it was just disgusting. Mate, that's pretty but impressive. You would have, um, you would have had a, a few marks in your underpants, I can assume. Oh, <laughs> dude, there was a hole in the seat. There <laughs> <laughs> was a in the seat. Yeah, the, the, the old clench job. That, that was with a stock. That was with a stock snorkel highlights, but that was really, really sealed really well and. Yeah, I'm, that's yeah, that's that's good to hear from you, mate. That sounds like a pretty, um, pretty, pretty wicked run through there. And lucky you didn't fall in the in off the off the bridge there. Well, we don't encourage people to go into flooded roads, do yeah, we, George? Yeah, don't try and cross any flooded never roads. Again, will I do that? But yeah, I was kind of stuck in between all the flooded roads, and I, I had to get out. But yeah, that oh, was well. stupid. I so, mean, some, sometimes you got to do what you got to do, eh? Well, yeah. <laughs> it's not advice. Yeah, but... no, no, good on you, mate. We uh, we wouldn't advise going across flooded rivers, particularly in the middle of a storm or anything. Oh, I but um, please come on. Yeah, uh, good on you, mate. Much appreciated. No, for just the call, just, eh? just before he goes. Um, so you didn't have any other engine issues after that? Nothing. No. Well, no, he said he's right. He... Two point eight. Nothing. No issues whatsoever. Right, and that's because you had a pretty sealed unit. Um, it was in terms yeah, of your air. Sealed. I just had yeah. recently, um, because that, those air head boxes head are, had the um, free clips that seal in with the foam, yeah. I recently changed that, that yeah. seal and the whole head that clips on. So that, cool. that's actually a bit of an upgrade you can do as well, is get rid of that silly foam one they put in them some, sometimes. Get a thicker, oh, yeah. ru thicker rubber, you've got to stand on top of them just about to get the bloody clips on, but it makes a big difference. I oh, mean, huge. And mm. that airbox I tried just before wouldn't surprise me if that rubber's a bit shit the way it leaked water as well. So yeah, and that's the main thing with the old um, four-wheel drivers is that that seal is already gone because taking it off and on, trying to put a new air filter in, and people rip it. So yeah, well that's um, definitely before a long trip because that's something you don't want to happen when you're too far away from home to bloody get mm. your car back, is it? So, so where are you calling from? Tyres, Victoria, Gippsland. Oh, cool. Are there many good tracks down there? Yeah. Uh, well, we have some Wahala, uh, some up, well, it's basically on the foothills of um, the high country almost, so yeah, pretty good. Cool. And have you ever done a Cape trip? No, I haven't done a bit far from Victoria, but maybe one day. Right. Oh, come on, mate, you'll get there. I will get there one day. Yeah, and then when you when you come up to Cairns, you can swing by and say good day. <laughs> oh, will do. No. Yeah, I've got a patrol now, so yeah, we're good. Oh, there oh, you go. Oh, yeah, yeah. patrol. See, you've learnt. If it was a patrol, he'd still be stuck in the yeah. creek. Nah, good on you, mate. Much appreciated for the call, eh? Alright, thanks, mate. Cheers, buddy. Have a good Alright, bye. Nah, that's good. Good to hear a few stories from a few other people, especially far, so a far few. down here. Hey, made it sound good, alright? Yeah, well. <laughs> nah, so, um, I think we've covered everything I want to talk about with snorkels. We've got a few bent rods. We've got a silly snorkel testing system I made. Yeah. We've got a VDJ that actually runs now, which is good. So, um, Let's just talk about our supporters once again and also what people can win if they like this. We'll give them about a week to like it. Yeah, and then, and then we'll and then get, choose get a the, random. Um, get the prize sent down to you. 
And obviously, if you are in the Cairns area watching, you've got Cairns Service Centre to come and get your, your mechanical work Which done. is here, which is where our studio is. Our inspired Signs, they do awesome stuff. You can send them a design and they'll do your car pretty good. And this is it, Mean Mother are getting behind us today. Well, well that's where the prize is coming from, so. Yeah. So, what can we win, George? Don't forget, you've got to like this, and we'll go through the likes and choose a random. George, you want to talk about this quickly? The distribution box. Well, yep. we've already had a good chat about it before, so it's pretty much just a plug and play, which splits out the power a lot better without having too many wires and plugs on it everywhere else. Yeah. It's um, just a good idea to have it sit in your canopy, so... No, I'm pretty happy with that, and um, I've got something pretty cool that... Because um, we're going to do this on a Friday afternoon, so... The next Friday, I've got a pretty cool thing to talk about, which... What is it? I'm yeah. not telling you yet. you got to... Ah. Mate, it is, because I've always wondered what the difference is. And you get a lot of people saying, this is better, that's better. So, I'm going to get someone who knows what they're talking about to mm. come down and give us a run through on what it is. So You're not giving you, us a clue? Nah, not at all. Not at all. But, trust me, it's a lot of patrol owners, you know, like myself. Once you get one, you like it. And, uh... It's a cattle. <laughs> no, come on. Pedals, mate. They all boil. <laughs> nah. So, guys, if you are hanging around uh, next Friday afternoon, we'll get that and hopefully I'll get a few more awesome demonstrations going on. Awesome. Eh? Awesome. And I'm, I'm looking on building a bit of a bench test machine so we can test a few things and see what's really going on, you know. Mm. Um, that's, that's what I, I like doing. And what are you about so, inviting so. a few people down for the show? And if you do have a cool rig, yeah. and uh, it is a Friday afternoon, bring yeah. it in yep. um, before five there so we can get you set up because I want to see some, some cool rigs around Cairns. So thank you very much, guys, for having a look and seeing what we're all about. Mm. It's our first sort of Friday one, this one, so we're, we're going to get better. Yep. And um, oh, I'm going to go, go take a, I'm gonna go take a bath. <laughs> yeah, and, so... And, uh, and get a drink. Yeah, cool, George. <laughs> so uh, don't forget to like us, love us, whatever. Go in the draw for that uh, mean mother unit and we'll draw that within a week or so. Oh, George? Fair don't enough. Make, don't make them wait that long. Well, we've got to get a few yeah. people in this. All right, so cheers, guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next Friday, George. Don't get bent. Yep. Yeah.